guys, it's Celesta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So this has been a highly requested video on how to clean your handbags, how to take care of your handbags. If you love all things luxury shopping and handbags, make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification. I do post videos every Sunday. I do want to give a disclaimer that just because I do something and it works for me doesn't mean that it'll work for you in the bags that you have. I haven't had every single bag in the world and I haven't ha tested all of these products on every single bag. So make sure you do a little patch test or do it in the back or a strap or something like that where it's not really visible just in case the products do not work for you so i know when i first started buying handbags i had no idea how to take care of my handbags um i also didn't do enough research when i bought my first bag so my first bag was the louis vuitton neverfull as many of you guys know and in monogram canvas it also has vachetta leather in the handles which is also like the untreated cowhide leather which tends to darken it can crack it can stain so all of these things and i didn't know how how to take care of it I didn't know that it was a problem at all after doing my research probably like six months to eight months later um after having the bag and of course there's like some stains and stuff on it now I definitely recommend protecting your bags conditioning them cleaning them I don't do this too often I do it maybe about every six months or so but it doesn't hurt to give your bags a little clean and some conditioning so today I'll be using the Havri Deluxe products this is not a paid collaboration they're not paying me to say good things about them but he did give me a discount code to send to you guys if you guys are interested I'll leave that in the description box below okay so I I have quite a few bags to clean um so let's just get right into it i'm gonna clean the palen numero un in the nano size i get a lot of questions about this bag um and the re i haven't had this bag for very long but i do want to condition it because i do use this bag quite a bit and because it's such a light color i want to make sure that there's no color transfer or anything like that to the bag starting with the happy deluxe three-step kit um this also has the so this comes with an antibacterial cleanser which is especially good like because of covid and things like that um it comes with a conditioner which protects the uv and it also has a spray that you can use for water repellent um because this is treated leather um i'm not too worried about using it in the rain but also in california it doesn't really rain um so we're gonna start with the cleanser. This kit also comes with a little cloth and so we can just get started. So step one, um, it kills 99% of the bacteria suitable for all leathers and fabrics. Ooh. Um, this was something that I was definitely missing in my bag routine. Um, I didn't really have a cleanser. I was always conditioning it, but it's always important to clean the bags before you condition it. Otherwise you're just buffing in all of the dirt and things like that. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, honestly. Um, so I did three pumps. Uh, you don't need to rub too hard into the bag. Um, I want to focus on kind of areas that would get dirty so like for example like the handles probably the straps the bottom of the bag is important too um this bag does have feet but um uh, making sure you get the bottom of it in case there's any stains and then of course the inside of the flap i don't think this should be too dirty i haven't had this bag for very long now I'm going to move over to the back side of the bag. Um, this is where it's most prone to color transfer. So that and the strap, it's probably most prone to color transfer. Um, so I'm going to focus a little bit more of the cleaning product there. So spray a little bit more. Get the bag and kind of again, we're just buffing it in there. We don't need to be too rough with it. So I'm just going to let this dry really quickly and then I'll be going in with the conditioner. So after cleaning the bag, it tends to maybe like dry out the bag a little bit. We're going to start with the nourishing conditioner, which contains UV filter. So it will protect your bag from UV. And I know um, you shouldn't be leaving your bag in direct sunlight. So I did two pumps of this and then we're just going to buff it into the bag. Same thing as we did with the cleanser. So a little bit goes a long way. if you guys can tell but already the bag has a little bit more of a sheen to it in the in the top part than at the bottom you probably can't tell on the camera but i could tell <laughs> and then uh we're gonna continue doing this throughout the entire bag i 
I'm specifically getting into like the folds of the bag. Um, I feel like because just the way that this bag is designed, I feel like that part is more likely to be creased. So I'm focusing a little bit more of the product there just to make sure that there's no cracking down the line. And then same thing with the corners as well. The corners do suffer a good amount of wear and tear. So make sure you're conditioning the corners as well. So this is looking pretty good. It's a little bit sticky, but usually uh, leather conditioners will tend to like be a little bit sticky and tacky at first, and then it will dry out. So I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of the bag, and I'm just going to speed this up so we can uh, move on to the next bag. I'm going to let this bag dry here. I'm going to get my Neverfull and then we will all, I'll show you guys how I clean that bag as well. Now that we have our Neverfull here, um, so because I haven't really used this bag in quite a bit, I really just use a microfiber cloth, a damp microfiber cloth, and I wipe down the canvas, make sure that there's no like dirt, dust, things like that. And of course, things will get dusty because I just leave them on the shelves. And then I'll go in with the leather conditioner for the machetta. I'm just going in and circular motions, wiping down the canvas. I do have my bag stuffed um, to help keep its shape. And then I also have an organizer inside. If you guys are not using an organizer for your Neverfull, I definitely recommend it. It helps keep the interior clean. Um, helps keep the interior clean. Um, one of my friends, like we were at a happy hour and she dropped like blue cheese inside of my bag and it like smells because it's like blue cheese. And it was so easy to clean because I just took out the organizer and was able to take everything out. So I'm just wiping down the canvas. Um, nothing special. I was told that canvas actually needs to be like hydrated and conditioned as well. Um, and according to Louis Vuitton, you can do so by putting like a damp cloth on it. That's, that's what I was told. Okay. So pretty, I think this is good with the Vachetta on the bag. I'll be going in with the same cloth from before, and then I'll be putting the nourishing conditioner first, and then I'll be spraying it with the water repellent. And this is the only bag that I have that still has Vachetta on it. Um, all of the other bags I've gotten rid of because Vachetta is not as carefree as I would hope for it to be. Um, specific, like if you look at my Neo Noe, um, it does have treated leather on it. And so with it being like black treated leather, it's not going to show wear and tear. It's not going to stain. Um, if it gets wet, it's going to be okay. And so for that reason, I've gotten rid of a lot of my Vachetta pieces and I know now not to buy Vachetta pieces in the future. We're going to start with just like the, the strap on the side, a little bit less than one pump is good because the straps are pretty small. So that is done and then I'm just going to go in and spray this with the uh, water resistant spray. So two pumps of that because this is pretty small and then I'm just going in and kind of massaging it in like this. going to go in again with the water repellent spray same thing as we did with the step number two now that is done and then kind of the other thing that I like to do, especially if my bag is not very dirty, um, I'll go in with these cleansing wipes. So Happy Deluxe has these cleansing wipes. These are non-alcoholic wipes. They're biodegradable and these are always great. I, I think other people, people in the luxury community tend to use like water wipes. These are always great too because you don't have to get it in like a big pack. Um, they come like individual and I like to always keep one of these in my bags, especially light colored bags. So like my Celine Belt bag that's prone to color transfer. I love to keep one of these inside the bag because as soon as I rec see that there's color transfer, if there, God forbid, there is color transfer, then I'm able to take out one of these wet, wet wipes and then just wipe it off right then and there. If it's for color transfer, the faster you get things out, the 
the higher the chances of success are. Okay, so these are always great. So I'm gonna use this on a bag that I haven't really used it very often, but I think just having it sit on my shelf, I think it makes sense to just give it a little bit of a clean. Um, and usually these are great because you can use them for multiple bags. Um, so I'll be able to clean maybe like two bags and like a pair of shoes with these. And you guys know I only wear white sneakers. So those tend to get dirty really quickly. And so it's always great to have one of these and then just like wipe down any dirt and dust and things like that. I will be cleaning my Speedy, which I have not used in like pretty much since COVID. Um, I really like this bag and I can't bring myself to sell it because it has been discontinued. I know that there's been rumors to like bring it back and things like that. But, um, and I think they are in September but um I can't bring myself to use, sell it and I know that I don't use it um so it really just sits there um I absolutely love this though this is the speedy 25 in on prompt with a bandolier strap um I have not used this since COVID because I really only use this bag for work and um we haven't been going to the office um also this bag charm is also from Happy Deluxe I think this is so cute doesn't this look amazing with the bag I feel like the bag kind of like the bag looks beautiful as it is but then with the little bag charm adds an extra kick um so i'm going to take this off before i do the wipe so we're going to take the wipe and we're just going to wipe all around the bag this is kind of like the easier quicker way especially if you're in between like cleaning conditioning cycles um this is always great to just take a wipe and wipe it down i'm going to start with the back and then we'll move our way over to the front Really tell that it's that dirty but I mean we haven't really used it so um so this is good and then I'll probably condition this the same way that we conditioned the Polen earlier since the product since the wet wipe still has quite a bit of product on it I'm just gonna condition a few other thing or I'm still gonna I'm just gonna wipe down a few other things um so we're not wasteful these are actually my favorite shoes um these are the veja sneakers i've been where i got these a few months back and i absolutely love them um i try to keep these shoes pretty clean i mean except for the bottom but um i try to keep these shoes pretty clean and they don't look terrible but i'm gonna wipe them down anyways <music> And that is it good as new okay now it is time for the giveaway so happy deluxe has been so amazing and so sweet and they want to send one of you guys a whole set of cleaning products and little gifts and things like that um happy deluxe is actually amazing they do have hardware protector stickers as well so in order to enter it's going to be very simple make sure you're subscribed to me make sure you follow happy deluxe on instagram i'll leave their instagram in the description box below and also comment your either your instagram or your email so i can contact you if you are the winner i'll be announcing the winner on september 4th on my instagram story so make sure you follow me on instagram so you don't miss it so this is just a small little giveaway for you guys thank you guys so much for all of your support um from hitting a hundred thousand followers on tiktok almost a thousand subscribers on youtube seriously thank you guys so 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 much for all of your support i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll be leaving all of the products used in the description box below make sure you enter the giveaway and i'll leave all of the giveaway rules in the description box below as well and i'm so excited to continue working with happy deluxe bye guys